Right, we're now going to move away from equations to inequalities, but still we are working with quadratic functions uh, because most of the work in, in the core one is dealing with quadratic functions. So let's look at our first example here then, x squared plus 2x, take away 8, less than or equal to naught. What does that actually mean? Well, it means that whatever x is equal to, if I substitute it into the equation on the left-hand side, the expression on the left-hand side, I will get a negative answer. So if I try x equals 1, then 1 squared plus 2 times 1, take away 8, is negative 5, which indeed is less than or equal to naught. So this would be a solution. If ever I tried, let's say, 4, I would get 4 squared plus 2 times 4, take away 8, which is 16, plus 8, take away 8, which is 16, which is, of course is greater than or equal to naught, so this is not a solution. And I could go on like this for forever, finding values of x and checking whether they were or weren't less than or equal to naught. So that's obviously not a very good way of doing it. I'm going to approach this from uh, a graph. So if I look at the graph of y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8, then let's factorise this, plus 4, take away 2. So it will cross the axis at negative 4 and at positive 2, and it will look like that. Now, all of this is y. So the inequality is actually saying to me, where is y less than or equal to naught? What does less than or equal mean? It means below. Where is y below or equal to zero? Well, if we look at the graph, then y will be below zero or equal to zero all the way along there. In other words, here. But this is about x, not about y. So in this yellow part, what do we know about x? We know that it runs from negative 4 to 2. So the solution to that first equation there is negative 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. So I get a range of values of x as the solution. Okay, let's have a look at the second example. Let's just to distinguish between the two, we'll call this the pink one. Now, it's very tempting to do some very silly things with this. It's very tempting to divide by x. Please don't do that. Dividing inequalities is pretty dangerous occupation. Let's put them on to one side. So we write x squared, take away 2x, greater than 0. Factorise x, x take away 2, greater than 0. Now, let's draw the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x. It, because of the factors here, it goes through 0 and it goes through 2. So therefore the equation of the graph means that the graph will look like that. Now this time, 
because y is this, what does this say? It says that y is greater than naught. What does greater than mean? It means above, above zero. So where is y above zero? Well, all the way down there and all the way down there. Now, following the same process as here, I must remember it's x I'm interested in. So if I'm down here, then of course x is this bit here. And similarly, x is that bit there. So that means that either, and notice I'm going to actually write the word either, and you'll see why in a minute. I don't know whether I can just rub that out, probably made that look a bit smeary, but never mind. So either, and let's remind ourselves that that's 2, so either x is bigger than 2, or this side, x is less than 0. No, no equals this time, because of course our inequality in the first one had a le uh, less than or equal to sign. This one only has a greater than sign. That is the answer. Okay. Now, why have I used these two words? Well, sadly, there are, one would like to say not many students, but there are quite a lot of students who love to think of that uh, the, the answers have always got to look like this. Remember, this was our answer to the first one. And they look at this and say, ah, oh, here x is at that end of that inequality sign, and here x is at the pointed end of this inequality sign, and they will um, foolishly, I'm afraid, write down 2 less than x less than naught. But if you think about it, what have I actually said here? I've actually look at that chain of signs, this actually says that 2 is less than 0, which of course is absolute nonsense. So, two examples then of quadratic inequalities. Please always put them on one side, always factorise, and a little picture should help you pick out the inequalities the correct way round and don't be afraid to spell it out like that. Okay, it's very, very important to understand this region is disjoint. Okay, the word disjoint means it doesn't overlap, it's separate and therefore we must use the word or. Whereas this region here is between. It's like the meat in the sandwich, this is the bread on the outside of the sandwich. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.